Hi everybody, this is Missy Says about your purpose and your goals in life. Now, I have a Missy Says which features a lot of relationship or uh, self-advice, uh, especially geared towards the women, okay? But I am growing and developing myself further as a businesswoman with my designing company and other ventures I have decided to take on. So in doing so, I have been doing a lot of personal development and personal realizing and fulfillment. And so I wanted to share that journey also with you guys and give you tips of nuggets that I'm learning from other things and I'm learning for myself and how I'm seeing the world now, how this new way I'm seeing it is, you know, making me receive the information differently and I can express it out differently from what I used to do in the past. So, I'm just a little excited. But, okay, so purpose and goal. I, tell you a little bit about my story, I went to high school, you know, college, I graduated with a work in degree in sociology justice as my minor and I was the kind of person like I wasn't like the top student of the class but I wasn't at the bottom I did what I was supposed to do and my mom used to say to me oh Missy you're so smart and I'm like I'm not smart I just do what I'm supposed to do like it's easy if I somebody give me something to do I can do it I'll follow along so I just did what I was supposed to do went to college graduated and I just really didn't know what I wanted or I was not expressing truly who I am to uh, figure out what makes me happy to do. So I say that to say this. If you're doing anything in life right now, as far as work or anything, that does not make you happy, why are you doing it? Are you doing it because you have to, because you got to, because you were told to? Or does it really speak to who you are? people out there living lives just get by, just floating, but they don't have an aim, they don't have a purpose, they don't have an end, mind, and goal to work towards on an everyday basis. So I want you guys to open up yourselves, really dig down deep and see where is your goals, where are your daily activities, daily doings, daily routine setting you up to be 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. What are the things that you're doing every day that's, how is it going to affect you later? Now, sorry, I had a funeral with, for one of my closer relatives, and it was a beautiful ceremony, a beautiful uh, funeral, but one thing that really stood out to me that we cried, yes, but there was a lot of laughter. There was a lot of funny stories. There was a lot of personality in this funeral. And I thought to myself, what are people going to say about me when I'm gone? You know, what is my funeral going to be like? And I, I had to be honest with myself. People wouldn't have much to say about me other than that Missy was a nice girl. She was talented and she could sing and just stuff like, you know, but it wasn't really any stories or any great memories that anybody or collectively could think about me and, you know, really reminisce about. So that made me think, what am I doing in life to connect with other people? What, How am I living my life right now and how is that going to affect me years from now? What do I want my end to be like? So I want you to think about, what do you want your end to be? If you want to be known for being a great father, are you taking the steps every day? Are you setting your goals every day to be a great father? And, and realize this. When you find your purpose, when you find your goal, when you find what makes you happy when you do it, it's usually something that you're good at. First off, if you're going against your character, you're going to be all set. You're going to be off balance. So if you're doing things that's within you to do, you're going to feel good about doing it natural. But what are you doing every day to set yourself to be a good father? You know? Uh, and the things that you do for yourself when you 
find your purpose and your goals, it's not only going to affect you. Here's the great thing. If you think about it, the things that make you happy when you do them, most times they benefit other people, doesn't it? So when we find our purpose, we're not only living for ourselves, but we're being a benefit to other people in our trail that we have met and changed their lives and benefited their lives in some way. So if the thing that you're doing every day does not benefit people, it's probably not your purpose. And if, if we can benefit people on a daily basis with little things, but when you look back on your life, your your whole life is gonna be about wow, she was a great singer. She gave her all to this world. She impacted so many lives. And her music lived on. Oh, he was a great painter, a great artist. And his message spoke to a people that were unspoken to before. And it really changed the dynamics of the decades following after. Like, the things that you do that's going to make you happy is really going to be beneficial to other people in your path and in your way. So, when you find your goal, I mean, your purpose in life, your end goal, then you have to start setting yourself up with daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, yearly goals, whatever goals, to get you to where you're going to be. That one of your goals might be, I want to make $5 million in my lifetime in a short span. But right now, I'm only working a minimum wage job, and I got a, like, a little side business that ain't really pulling in nothing yet, nothing like I want. $5 million? I don't think that's going to happen. Let me just keep doing what I'm doing. As soon as you start thinking of that, that, that end goal as being unobtainable, then your actions are going to go with that. You're just like, I'm not going to put effort into something I'm not going to get anyway, so why do it? So, instead of basing your goal, your, your end, your end uh, <laughs> purpose up here, know what it is up here but start focusing on the little steps that you can make to get there. It's daunting if you think about taking a jump from here to here. It's impossible. So, I, I mean, I, that's where I want to be, but I can't get there. But think about if you wanted to take steps, 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 and you finally make it to the top. It's not so daunting, is it? So find your purpose. Once you find it, Line up your goals of every day, every week, month, year to go towards that purpose. And when you come jump out of bed every day, you will already know what you have to do that day, that week, to get to you where to you want to be. If you don't have aim in life, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> exactly. If you don't have aim, you're not going anywhere. You're just floating like a free form of water but if you are a, a a river a stream going in a direction and there's paths to your direction but it's going in the direction you want it to go you might not swerve this way if you want it to but you might swerve this way but it's still going to go down to where you want it to be but take your life seriously don't let it just be about work. Don't let it just be about getting things done because you have to. Let your life stand for something. What are your goals to get you to your end purpose? Signing out.